A schoolgirl from South London was put into isolation this week for having henna hand tattoos. The 12-year-old was celebrating the Muslim festival of Eid, where henna is traditionally applied, wearing off maybe after a couple of weeks or so. But the ARC Global Academy in Elephanton Castle believed it infringed school uniform policy. Harry Lowe has a story. I feel like really like pressured because I'm not allowed to like celebrate what I only have like once or twice a year. Meet Aya, who is back in class for the last full week of school after a weekend of festivities. She's one of London's many Muslims who celebrated Eid al-Udha at the end of Hajj. She was removed from class after a teacher spotted a henna tattoo on her hands. Her mum Layla told us it's outrageous that her daughter could be treated this way. As a mother, I feel sorry for my daughter because um, I think we should all be free to be able to celebrate in different ways how we like to um, enjoy our Eid. And how does Aya feel about how it was handled? I felt like really like left out because other people, well other Muslims, they had henna and I felt like because I saw them and I felt like why am I getting put out for having henna when other people are having it. In a statement the school says henna tattoos are not currently included in our uniform policy and as such an hour was taken to consider whether the student could continue as normal. After the hour, the student returned to normal proceedings and there has been no ongoing sanction. Layla and I dispute this and say that she missed three hours of lessons. The school told the BBC that it's reviewing its guidelines to make sure that all members of the community are clear about expectations. Looking ahead, how does Layla feel about marking future Eid celebrations? I'm not happy that um, the school have plans to uh, put henna as a forbidden uh, things for the next um, term uh, for the uniform policy. If the school is forbidden Muslim people to feel special on their big celebration, I don't think it's fair and justified. For now though, the pair are looking forward to a summer holiday in Leila's homeland of Poland. Harry Lowe, BBC London.